<laughs> well, this is all we're working with this time, so. It's sunny today! It's gonna be a great thrifting day! We are going to get coffee and a toothbrush. Because would it really be a true thrift with me if we didn't have some Dunkin' Donuts while we were here in New York? Insert slurping sound. Whoa. We didn't intend on taking a black car to the Goodwill outlets. We made it to stop number one. Hopefully I survive it. So we are at the Goodwill outlets. We're in Long Island, I believe. It's like really nerve wracking. We'll get there. We will get there. allowed to have carts it's just a lot we've been screened at already so I've actually been finding a ton of like a pod in New York merch though wish I could show you guys but I guess that's why no one vlogs here yeah. this is what we're hiding they're cool do I get them they're so cute honestly cleaned up <laughs> to sanitize my whole life right now. That was a pretty big success. I got some really, really cool things, including a puffer. We had some sass going on from some fellow sellers, so I couldn't really vlog in there. I'm excited to haul this stuff, so we're gonna cut to that now, and we're gonna head into the depths of Brooklyn. Here is the haul. After I've cleaned it and sanitized it 20 times. So for those of you who don't know how the Goodwill bins work, essentially there's a bunch of these blue bins which you guys probably would have seen in those few vlog clips that I managed to somehow get without having my camera taken away from me. They come out every hour or so. We actually kind of caught them at the end of the hour which isn't the preferred time to pick through because people go, they line up, they're dedicated to the craft of thrifting through the bins or the outlets shall I say and we kind of got like the leftovers. But honestly we still got a ton of good stuff. It was mostly just basics as you guys will see here. I'm not going to explain everything because they're like very self-explanatory items but the really good thing about the bins is that you pay by the pound so a lot of other goodwills I've realized in the states have become really really expensive like $5.99 plus per item but at the bins you're paying like $1.80 by the pound so just to put that in perspective I think I got like 10 to 15 items all for a total of $19 so it's definitely like the most affordable way that you can thrift it is grimy we got the gloves for those of you that are like are these girls germaphobes like what's going on you will come across used underwear mixed into some of the categories so you just want to take precaution have <laughs> wipes on hand and just be aware that that can happen i'm a germaphobe i like to be prepared in any way that i can be but i got a lot of good things you guys would have seen i got levi's shorts that fit me really well hoodies so much good stuff i could have spent hours there but we didn't have the most time so we wanted to keep the thrift trip going and we just kind of bared with what we got I also found this really, really sick tie-dye hoodie. It's from some sort of New York University, so shout out to you if you donated this in the past. I love it. And then my favorite, favorite item from the bins was this Lens and Puffer, which if we're doing it by weight here, this was probably like a dollar, which is insane because it's so light and it's amazing. It's gonna keep me warm. I've already worn it to the gym a bunch of times and it's pretty much an exact dupe for the Eritrea Super Puff that I have up here on the screen. So not a bad deal. That kind of made the whole trip worth it in and of itself. So I would definitely go back to this place and recommend you guys to go as well. It was a ton of fun.
Yeah. Hello, squad. Yeah, I spoke to the girl and she's just like, oh, if you guys like, want to take photos, if you want to take photos, yeah. feel free to go with the guest person and I said, how about video? Which like, we don't allow video, but if you want, like, uh, get permission from the, like, main head thing office. about the head office. And then I'm just like, oh, do you have a contact for the head office? Yeah. It was just easier. She gave me the number directly. Perfect. So next time we can just, yeah. Yeah. So she's just like, oh, so we wouldn't kick you out. That's too aggressive. Yeah, okay, she even good. said, she's super nice. The tea. All the tea. All the tea. So like, uh, wait. Yes, I don't know why, but we keep getting really nice cars. Yeah. Here on our thrift trip today. So funny car company, Tesla, if you want to sponsor the next thrift trip, that would be, uh, that'd be cool. So what are your thoughts, guys? Ladies? It was great. I got three things for $3.50. I don't was get the last much time better. I got something for three dollars and fifty cents. In general, one you know, thing, like, never. Gosh, Haven't heard of her. So we just ate bagels. I will have my like eat with me video linked up in the cards because I'm doing like a whole, whole little food documentary on New York and Brooklyn. Just kidding, it's not that serious. I'm no filmmaker. Shout out to my boyfriend. That's what he does. So we made it to Brooklyn. Very excited to be here. I've never been here, but I feel like this is where I would thrive. We're gonna go to Awoke Vintage and Beacon's Closet. They're vintage, but like whenever I asked anyone for thrift store recommendations here, they gave me these two, so they must be worth it. Oh, this is so cute, the tag. All of them? on a vintage store. Everything is so nice and clean here. And guys, guys, this is a two-piece set. That's all I gotta say. You'll see in a second. Wow, I'm feeling all the colors right now. This could have worked maybe if it was like a tighter mini dress. So out of my comfort zone, it's fine. <laughs> Undone, it's like a lot of fabric. It is currently 2.30. Can't see because it's so freaking bright outside. Not complaining, not complaining. On to the second coffee of the day. Still in Brooklyn and we're actually at the Brooklyn Classic Thrift Shops. We're gonna head in here, see what we can find. We're right around the corner from Urban Jungle which is what everyone highly recommended to us so I'm very excited to go there. We're gonna pop in here quick and now see the classics. So here we go. Lots of crew St. Patty's Day. Flash my birthday shoe. <laughs> wow, guys, $15! This is how far I've made it in the store and I already want like 10 things. Annie, this one's for you, our little Olympic gymnast. You said you needed corduroy. Oh, wow. Look at all the corduroy. Wow, you never see this. I bet you these are all super cute on. <laughs> these aren't sized, but we're pretty much in Levi's heaven, you guys. What? is going on to whoever thought New York was too bougie for thrift stores. This is where it's at. Just like, no, 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 like you need to, just look at this. I'll take you. This is $8. At home, this would be like $25. Where else would they really be? How am I not gonna go home with 20 hoodies? Let me know. Let me know. Wow. Where 
army. I was just gonna say it was a little sad because I thought it was like all crew necks, which I just got a lot of at bins, but I think we just solved that problem. I'm overwhelmed. empty it out and then finish all of that. Oh my god, this is six dollars. I should film a TikTok. $8 champion sweater with a $6 vest. This is when you know it's good vintage. A little denim hack. If you don't know, now you know. So I didn't eliminate anything, I just realized I need everything. That's great. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I see that and I want it. Um, yes. I know. I like, I want a champion hoodie, navy, size medium. Oh, oh trust us when we say this, we don't want to leave, but we have to. These are good. They're pretty good. They're a little big, but like. Yeah, they literally have one just like it. Pop it up right here. <laughs> Visco girl. Wait, where's your scrunchie? super hard not to take everything home with me but I narrowed it down to four things the first being this really really sick baby blue North Face jacket which I actually wore a ton in Atlanta last weekend so if you guys want to see what I'm up to in real time head over to my Instagram I've been going on a lot of trips getting a lot of thrifting done for y'all it's all coming soon I also picked up this really cute blue cardigan because as soon as I put it on with the jeans and converse I don't know it was just like an automatic yes it was super cute and again I believe it was only like eight dollars and then I got this denim jacket did I need it? No, but she was only $15 and it had a very different look than any of my other denim jackets. I'm definitely going to have to filter through that collection after I move. And lastly, another gray champion hoodie because these are honestly pretty hard to come by. The original reverse weave. They're just really super good quality and I love me a gray hoodie, especially with a pop of purple because that has been my jam lately. <laughs> And that is it for our 24 hour, very brief New York City thrift trip. I'm so excited that I finally got to thrift there. We had so much fun. I'm gonna link all the locations down below. Don't forget to subscribe. That Atlanta thrift trip is coming your way and I will see you all in the next one.